Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living in Light and Truth. How do you know the right path? What are you using as a guide for your life? What lamp are you using to show the way? And we read in Psalms 43, verse 3, Send forth your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them guide me. Let them bring me to the holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Psalms 119, 105. How do you know the right path? What are you using as a guide for your life? What lamp are you using to show your way? Here's the big question. What are you seeking? What is your direction? Are you seeking first the kingdom of God, the holy mountain? Darkness is the absence of light. If you're walking and guided by darkness and lies, then you will not get to the holy mountain where God dwells. However, if you're seeking the light and truth as your guide, then you will find the holy mountain where God dwells. Are you climbing, seeking the holy mountain? The voice of the demonic spirit says, you can't go any further. You can't go any further. Fear, doubt, rejection, disbelief, and disappointment begin to consume your climb. You, your climb. You feel pain from the climb. Why go on any further? I can't make it up the mountain. When you seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, then he is able to guide and to direct your path to the holy mountain. You realize as you're climbing a source of strength and power which comes from the truth and light in the spirit of God living in the born again believer. Your growing knowledge of God's word will be your sword to defeat the enemy of darkness and lies. Your faith and trust grows as you climb higher on the holy mountain. Your faith and direction up the holy mountain will be led by the light and the truth of God's word. Even though there are storm clouds all around the mountain, you have peace, love, joy, gentleness, and faithfulness in the midst of the circumstances. And in John 3, 21, but whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what he has done has been done through God. And in Acts 26, 18, to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, so that, so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Amen and amen.